Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I wanted to do something for the holidays since it is coming up around the corner. And I wanted something pretty glam. Stands out, you know? Since it's the holidays, I want to look cute. And I want to look like I'm all dolled up. Why not? Since we've been quarantined for so long. I want an excuse to, you know, dress up a little bit. So. If you like this look, you're interested in getting this look, stay tuned and I'm going to get to it. Okay, I haven't primed my face or anything. I'm just going to start with my eyes. Excuse my rainbow tape, but this is all I could find. So we're going to work with what we got. All right, starting with my eye base. This is P. Louise Rumor 3. And of course, again, guys, if I forget to mention any of my products I'm using today, I'll make sure to put it on the description box. Just going to grab some of the product. I was going to wait to do my eyebrows, but I'm just going to do it right now with my Sephora Pro Brow Brush. I'm just going into my Anastasia. Dip brow in medium brown. front of the brows. I barely put any product on there because I want it to look more natural. So most of the product I'm using is towards the end of the brow, the middle and the end. And I'm just going to put my brow tint. This is the LA Browy Tinted Brow Gel. This is the color in taupe. The product comes out a lot so you want to be careful. Go back in with your brush to brush that part out. Picking up a little bit of more of that P. Louise product from earlier. I just want to go over my brows. All right, with my Morphe. 35M palette. I'm going into Candy Crush, a blending shadow brush. And you want to just pick up some of that product and tap away. This is another Morphe brush. This is a B. 79 brush. I'm going to pick up Sweet Beats, which is just a darker shade. All I'm doing is a tapping motion, especially into the crease right here. And then just go with the back and forth motion, blend that product in. You don't want any harsh lines. Same for the other side. I'm going to another shade that's darker. It's called FOTD. I'm just going to use the same blending brush. Just going back to the other blending brush that I used earlier. I'm just going to touch up a little bit on the top part because I did lose a little bit of the lighter reddish tone. So I'm just going back in Candy Crush. What I usually do is I go back and forth with the two different blending brushes to get that color I want and that transition I want. So I would go in with the first brush, which is for the lighter color, 
and then for the darker tones I go in with a second one so that way I work in the lighter and darker color so that way I have that darker shade and that blends into the lighter shade on top I'm just going to clean up a tad bit below my brows and I'm just going back in with that P. Louise from earlier that I used So for my glitter, I have this glue here. It's actually just a eyelash glue, a clear one. That's going to be my base for my glitter. This is called Sizzling Cinnamon SF. It's a really pretty deep red glitter color. With the glue, I'm just going to dab that on to my eyes where I want that glitter and it dries fast with this one so we shall see how that goes I'm just going to pick up some of that glitter don't like this glue so I'm going to use a different one this one dries way too fast I didn't even have time to work the glitter in very disappointed that glue that I used earlier totally messed up my makeup but I'm gonna try to save this. I'm going in with this Stella product that I have. It's for glitter. And it comes in a little bottle like this, with a droplet. It comes with a glitter too, but I'm going to try just the glue much better. All I did was dr drop a little bit of that product, pick some of that up, and then dabbed it into my glitter. I do want a winged eyeliner on there, so that's what I'm going to do next. With my Sigma EO5 brush, my Studio Eyeliner with Maybelline. With my NYX liquid liner, just going over my gel liner. I'm just going to curl my lashes. That glue from earlier really messed up my eyeshadow, my lash accelerator with Rimmel and just going in to my lashes with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara going in for my lashes I'm using Kiss Next Gen Wispy All right just going to put on my duo glue So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back to finish off my eyes. So I'm back. I just finished off doing the rest of my face and I actually went and exfoliated my lips. That way it doesn't look all chapped up and dried out because that's what it's looking like right now with this weather. Let's go back, finish off our eyes and then we'll do our lips and that'll be it. Right, with the same brush, I'm going back in to Candy Crush. I got my Sephora brush here and of course it's faded out so I'll try to figure out what the name is. It's a blending brush for your lower eyes. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up Sweet Beats over here. Going back in the palette, going to pick up that FOTD. With another brush, this is a smaller precision brush. I'm just going to pick up 
color persona. And then I'm just going to pick up some of that glitter and put it in my inner corner eyes. I'm gonna pick up that darker shade, which is that FOTD again. And I just want the outer corner a little bit darker. Moving on to mascara for the lower lashes. For my lips, I'm using a BH Cosmetic Lip Liner in the color Rouge. With my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color SMLC20, I'm going to go over my lip liner. Okay. <laughs> 